everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria to Greece. So, guys, as you guys know, last episode we finally got what we wanted from the Ottomans, and we finally were able to, you know, expand and actually be able to do stuff. We were going to finally form the mighty empire of, well, not form the empire, actually get cores to form the mighty empire of Byzantines until I realized something that I didn't anticipate was that to form it you have to have a specific requirement I didn't even I completely forgot about this I didn't anticipate it and completely forgot about it too um because I remember reading this at some point but I forgot about it and it kind of messed with my campaign is I need something called national fraternity to move on and to get national fraternity you're gonna need to go to culture and get nationalism and imperialism see so yeah we're basically going to have to, so basically we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer to do stuff, which is actually kind of fine because, I mean, we're not going to war against anyone for like a little bit, so it doesn't matter that, you know, it takes a little bit longer than usual to do stuff because, let's, let's be real here, we hadn't really had anything to do in the last couple years, so it doesn't, I don't really see a big change, and since our next once we get this yeah let's just quickly take down all this once we get this we're just gonna go to war with the ottomans anyways i mean we really can't go to war against the ottomans for 10 years so i mean not 10 years five years yeah 10 years everyone 10 years you can't go to war but yeah so i think it honestly makes sense so you know it this this is probably like another one of my uh, big oops moments but eh. It's it's a fine oops moments because it's not like it's not like we're in too big of a bust to get it. Um because we're we're gonna tech down this pretty dang quick holy shoot, my literacy went terrible. Um <laughs> we're gonna tech down all this pretty dang quickly due to all the advancements I've made. In fact, dang my this I'm I'm gonna increase this. This is actually doing really insanely good. Um but yeah, and it seems like we have another national yeah, we're just basically doing good all around, so I'm not really feeling too sad about this. And finally, the the uh, Serbians are attacking the Ottomans, which is a really good sign. And we could actually see some Ottoman destruction here, which would be really good. Uh, colonization, mining efficiency. And let's get colonial exploitation. <laughs> I usually like to be really nice to the natives, but right now I'm really feeling like I really want to be expansionistic. So... Anyways, we're going to increase our money output, and apparently we're still tariffing? I thought we got rid of, we can tariff like 1% or 2%. That way it keeps all the strong factories in power, but I don't want to tariff to the point of killing my factories again, because that really does. Let's see, what do we allow? Regis we are residency, because that's the only government I really like right now. Okay, get nationalism and imperialism. Okay, we better discover this really quickly, by the way, because I really want to start getting those cores out on on uh, the Ottoman Empire and see my biggest threat right now people is the fact that I worry that maybe the event or us actually discovering it will not happen and we'll be stuck in this internal loop of just being in um you know wanting to expand into the Ottomans lands and finally be conquesting all of what we need to form the mighty Byzantine Empire but then being stuck in this kind of infinite loop it would really stink if that really did happen I'm not gonna deny but Oh my goodness, the Russians collapsed when the Germans attacked. Actually, that usually does happen, so that's actually not that shocking. So let's get back to the game! Um, Yeah, we're still making lots and lots of money. We're still, we're just on a really good high right now. Like, everyone's really happy, our government's really good, no one's really, like, revolting. I've done acts to make sure that everyone is, you know, treated equally. Everyone usually likes my political reforms. No one, no one wants trickle pensions or good health care, which is fine by me. If you guys don't want it, I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> I'm, that's terrible. But if, if, you know, if the people don't want it, why, why, why would we not? Why would we not disappoint the people and just not give it to them? So, anyways, uh, my ships should be around here somewhere. Yeah, there they are. They're finally over here, and I think I'm finally going to return them to. The right- Oh, you got- Oh! I hate you so much. Go back over there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's that must be one of those hilarious moments right there, guys. They're like, I can see the land! Oh, wait, they just... We just got... Sir, we just got a telegram from our sponsors that there's another rebellion in Ethiopia. God! <laughs> okay, we're turning all the way back around, everyone. Uh, the, the crew was just about to, like, relax and have a good day, and then that happened. <laughs> that would probably be the worst thing never happened to, which is like, yep, we're almost home. We're almost there to our lovely wives and children, and, oh, we got attacked. Okay. I want about, I want a good hundred, yeah, 50%. That's actually pretty good. Wow. For usual Victoria 2-esque numbers, that's actually pretty good. I'm, like, being really nice. Okay, so we tech down, we tech down everything. Hopefully that will help, you know, help things. I think I'm going to get a higher education system because apparently now we have, like, more people. And so our literacy went down again. Kind of stinks, but... Ah oh, dang, S Serbia man, you are doing great right now. You're conquering a lot. I hope, honestly, I hope they take all of this part right here. That way, that way me, that way we can just deal with the Ottomans like over here. But it seems like now they're starting to get pushed back by the uh, other people. Yeah, it seems like they're starting to get pushed back. It kind of stinks. And let's see, this army is not very good. So let's see, is there any kind of soldiers we can build in our mainland? Yeah, let's build four African... I think this is all on one land. So yeah, let's build these soldiers so that we can balance out this army over here. And there's some more rebels in different colonies and stuff like this. And, uh hate when this happens. And this army will go down there into Ethiopia again and save the Ethiopians from the awful clutches of communism. God dang you communism, so yeah, the only thing we're waiting for right now is for this event to fire. Um let's see, is there anything else that could Greece is a great power. That would also help us if we could become a great power, but sadly I do not believe it's going to be possible to become a great power. Um I would love to become a great power, but I do believe it's a little bit, you know, impossible. So, yeah, let's see. Show empty slots, too, so we can see what I'm working with. Yeah, the highest production we have right now is in Attila, which doesn't actually have that good of production right now, or not production, enough people to do stuff. But we're doing pretty good right now in terms of economy, tensions dissipate, uh, the Philippines. Wow, we're having so many, like, revolts, which is really weird because I have really good, like, non-evil taxation okay what is happening here the communists are gaining power this doesn't make any sense uh voters rights movement i thought it already gave everyone universal voting rights what else do you guys want from me hmm. okay we could probably we could probably do non-secret ballots okay we could probably do that for you guys oh, gosh dang it uh, these rebellions are gonna get out of control aren't they Where's my ships again? <laughs> it w oh shoot, wait a minute, they might have about all died. I just remembered we didn't actually dock them up. Oh wait, no, they're still alive! They're still alive! Oh gosh, this is gonna be a fun fight for my people once they finally get there, too. Okay, and you guys get right here. So that we're already ready to go and attack them once, once we get all of our land. Okay, get all the people right here. Get all of them right there, and then go right here. Okay, we got all this set up, and then there they're going to go fight off all these uh, people. First, let's go destroy this army so that we can destroy the biggest rebel threat. That way they don't, that way the rebels don't think to like group up and actually pose a threat to us. Okay, now that they're all dead, go hunt the rebels, and let's see, in our mainland, mostly everyone group up, and oh, that island is finally useful because we can connect everything. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. We finally have a decent army over here protecting our mainland now that we have all this. Oh, gosh, this looks so beautiful right now. Look at that, Greece. That looks just so anesthetically pleasing. Okay, so right now, the Third Great War is about to destroy the uh, the uh, Russians. I, I don't know why Austria is not doing really great in this war. Wait, I know. I think... No, I think in the end, I think we'll actually win this, because, yeah, all of this part's occupied. I, hmm. 
I think Prussia will honestly lose this in the end. I think that's what's gonna happen. So that's good and kaboom. So yeah, we're basically just waiting for you know massive. Well, basically, we're just waiting for like this event to fire so we can uh, get our you know. Wait, we have it. We have it. Oh my goodness, guys, we finally did it! So! Oh. <laughs> the Medina's idea, the Greek idea, was an irreconcilable uh, conception of the Greek stake encompassing all ethnic Greeks, including in particular the substantial Greek minorities living in the western coasts of Asia Minor. The concept was a driving force between much of Greece's interaction with the fading Ottoman state during the 19th century. Wow, that's actually pretty accurate. Uh, well, no, wait, no, 18th century. Yeah, it's the 1800s, so. This is this is a little bit behind, but and the goal of the Greek idea came very close to a realization in the Treaty of Silveres, signed at the end of the World War One. The vast land gains that the Treaty of Silveres accorded to Greece were, however, large undone by the following Greek-Turkish War of nineteen of nineteen nineteen to nineteen twenty-one. Big is beautiful. <laughs> yes. So guys, look what I have cores on now. <laughs> Oh, now I just have to wait for my treaty to, when does my truce, 1907, that is when my truce dissipates and France is still a very small power, wow, that's still very small, okay, I thought they, I thought of honestly they would have like recovered by now, but they're still pretty small, mm-hmm, and let me think, yeah, we finally got it guys, we finally got the event that we needed to form a national Greek utopia, basically. If, if it must be all said and done, it's basically a Greek utopia. Because now we have the means and ability to finally form the Greek and mighty nation. Which is good. Which is finally good. We're finally almost there. We have our soldiers all ready and willing to go conquer back the capital of our ex-empire of Constantinople. We do have a good outpost over here, just in case if somebody does... We already have some of our old empire actually already conquered back. So this is... Gosh dang, this is great. <laughs> Quite frankly, this is like, great. We now have... Huh? Hmm. The Heavenly Kingdom formed. Any way I can like, demand a concession or something? Hmm. I probably have to send my own men over there, which... How much... How much do they have in terms of population? 12 million. It would give me a ma- hmm, I don't know. It would give me a massive boost if I could actually defeat all the Chinese men over here. But I don't think I could maintain an empire over there. I mean, I barely maintain an empire over here. As it is. I mean, we, we barely- like I said, we barely maintain an empire over here, so... Maybe we shouldn't do that, but I think I will go after Car- I think I am gonna go back after our Tunis friends. Yeah, you think- I didn't forget about you, Tunis. You thought I did, but you guys have always been in the back of my mind as that one little state that decided to break free from me, which is something I cannot allow. So, we're going to reconquer you. Um, we're going to build our entirely new uh, shipbuilding fleet. 27 new ships in, in the Mediterranean, and 20 ships over here, so that way we have a good transporting fleet at all times between the new and the old worlds, and yes, okay. We just have to fast forward to time until 1807 and then we'll finally take the rest of the land we need. What are you talking about? We are not trying we're not trying to invade the nice peace the nice peaceful Tarnas people. We're just trying to like uh peacefully no make them know of our power. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, we got 209 from that. Wow, that was a big grass. So I think I'm gonna go down to 55 again. 55 taxes. I'm keeping. This is like one of the astronomically low numbers I've ever done in this game. And most of you guys can detest I have gone not very lower than this. Okay, and Romania wants to form an alliance with me. How powerful are you, Romania? Not very powerful, but you could be useful if we were wanting to go to war with, uh, with uh, the Ottoman Empire, because then you guys could actually help. But is there anyone more powerful? I feel like the Italians just changed their flag a couple times without me looking. Okay, is there anyone more powerful that we could use to, uh... Hmm. 
France is still not very powerful right now. Um, I almost feel like attacking them. It's, it's like, it's almost like instinctive. I really want to attack China right now. Oh my goodness, China, you changed your flag. You're now the Republic of China. Good job. Good job. But I guess so. I guess I'll get an alliance with them. I just don't know how useful the, uh, the, uh, these guys will be. <laughs> Man scene voting. As John Q. Public walks up the ballot box, he knows instinctively that he is being watched by the officials presiding the vote, by the man watching him put his ballot in the box, by a government agent in a bar behind a, a cup hole newspaper. Somehow, somewhere, someone is watching him, feeding info government information about his political opinions and voting preferences. John's secret fear is that someone on some dark night will come knocking on his door to have a little chat about loyalties and disloyalties. John Q. Public would very much prefer if he would be given his vote in secret. Uh, just because you're paranoid, or THEY'RE AFTER ME! OH MY GOODNESS, THEY'RE AFTER ME! Uh, uh, honestly, they're all after me. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really think I want to go over to secret ballots, because I think that becomes a pain to deal with. Because I think, if you're going to vote, at least, it, I'm only talking in game terms. If you're going to vote, you should vote in, like, in public and in, in personally so that I may know what you voted for. And so that if you guys don't vote for me, I can go and kill you guys. Or harass you until you actually do vote for me. That's the way to deal with this. Okay, and we still got all of our ships are being built now. Oh man, we're finally going through our industrial revolution that we needed. Okay, and we're going to expand just a little bit into... Let's see. You know, we honestly should... To be honest, we should actually be moving towards the, uh... I guess we can't do it. Well, anyways, we're going to... What should we do? Yeah, let's just keep getting better, like, supporting... Supporting infantry, because I think this would be really useful if we're going to attack the, uh... Mighty mighty nation of the Ottomans, which we are going to, don't worry. And with the Russian-Romanian-Persian alliance, we should be able to just completely crush them, get all the land I need from this war. In fact, we could possibly, if, if I can manage it, not be able to do it because now they have even more powerful alliances, which that is be... Mm, uh, that seems a little bit crooked right there. There is no way in the likes of the world that you could get all those alliances unless Spain is not a great power right now. Spain is not a great power right now so that makes more sense now that I'm thinking about that they can get those alliances. Speaking of which, let's see if any of our country is really upgraded. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of interest right here. It doesn't really seem like there's much interest right over there. Yeah, we're building up more and more uh, places for my people to work. Yeah, a lot of- the steel factory is doing pretty good. Uh, let's start building up a ammunition factory. Where should I build the ammunition factory? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ammunition. Uh, we could build the ammunition factory here so that we can at least start our own like means of production besides just buying it out, which would be really nice. Having all means of production would be really good, but it seems like, from what I can see, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, United Kingdom is, uh, trying to be all friendly like with our, uh, with our, uh, with our Turkish friends here. So what we're going to have to do is mess them up before we go after the, uh, prize we wanted. And I don't know why I just went to that voice, but it was, it was kind of amusing to me for a second. Probably not amusing, probably very amusing to you guys too, so. Yeah, it was a mutually enjoyed experience. So, anyways, we are... Uh, yeah, we're just waiting. We still can't... Sadly, though, we still can't declare war right now because we just went to war against them. I mean, I really want to declare war. This is like... This is like almost opportuni opportunity-listic how much we are, like, doing well right now. I'm just... I'm just gonna take down everything I can right now. So that when we go to war against the Ottomans, we're gonna completely destroy them. Like, there'll be nothing left. Okay, let's get everyone inside there. 27 troops. Let's see, do we still have a Kazbela against the Turks? Probably not. We still do? Okay, let's go establish Protectorate. Calling all my allies. Impossible. Okay, 
That's fine with me. I can deal with the I can deal with the Turks by my oh wait. Who are they sphered by? No one. Okay, good. I thought they were sphered by someone for a second. I was like, oh no. Did I just get into a war I did not want to? But apparently not. So I'm going to casually get all my soldiers out. Uh do, do, do get my troops over here. And nationalize the bank. Yeah, sure. Give me all farmers. They pay me all that? Sure, let's nationalize the bank. Trouble is brewing with the Italians. I hope the Italians are actually going to gain more land, because they should. They could become a really powerful state, which would be really nice to have. Okay, let's just keep expanding, though. That's my goal. Keep expanding. We're finally going to go take back our previous colony over here. One of our favorite, too, may I add. Alright, let's go take him back. And... Oh, guys, this is the end of the episode. I'm so sorry. You guys will have to wait till next time to fi to, to finish the uh, conquest of Tunis again. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.